Now, what do we mean by age sex pyramid? It simply refers to the number of females and males in different age groups. Good amount of information about the population is broken down by age and sex and it can be read from a population pyramid. Now, it also tells us how a population changes over time. By that I mean what's the birth rate, death rate and life expectancy of a country. So here's a picture of India's population pyramid and I will outline few information that will make you understand the whole age sex pyramid concept better. Now if you look at this picture, this is what a population pyramid looks like and this figure is especially about India. Bars in the blue represent male population and bars in the red represents female population. In the vertical axis you have the age and in the horizontal axis you have the population in millions. Now if you look at the age group of 0 to 14 years, their population bar is extremely high and they are also known as the dependent generation meaning they are living with their parents, guardians and are mostly dependent on them for resources. And now look at the age group of 15 to 59 years. So this entire group is known as the working population, meaning they are the number of people who are willing and eligible to work. So these are the people who are working, generating income, paying taxes and running the nation's economy. So all the budget for government policies and schemes, everything has to be generated from this lot because these are the ones who pay taxes and from the tax money budget is allocated. And now look at the age group of people above 59 years. These are the older populations. Now this population will require more expenditure on healthcare facilities, pensions and all other care and welfare. So there is a lot that can be figured out by looking at the population pyramid. We can also predict the potential political issues for example, the rapid growth of young adult population who are not able to find employment can lead to unrest. So by looking at this pyramid, we can predict that what is the amount of people who are going to pass out from colleges or schools next year and who will need job and employment. Then the government can figure out how to create jobs, how to put this young adult population into working force. And these are few of the things that can be figured out by looking at the population pyramid. So I hope now you are well aware of how this population pyramid works.